Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to the world of Wayne. We've now got stage 11 of Hero Collector and Eagle Moss's presentation of Build Your Own Ecto-1. Now I have got the next four parts, that's 11, 12, 13 and 14 and I believe there may be a delay from 15 to 18 because of the uh, virus which is going around at the moment. Uh, I got my free gift in this one which is the Ecto-1 number plate which looks really good. Uh, looking like that on that side, quite big, look there's my hand so you can see how big this is. Uh, the only problem with this is it's got really really sharp edges and I've already cut myself on it. You've probably seen this in my uh, videos anyway because I have it hanging just here on some little pegs I put there and I'm going to keep that there uh, looking just like that but uh, I don't want to touch that again because I've already cut myself twice on that uh, I mean you probably see me all the time when I'm doing these builds I've got new cuts all over my hands but it is what it is <laughs> let's show you what we're going to do we're going to be putting in a crankshaft pulley and uh, all the parts and the gump for the power steering so we've got lots of little pulleys here uh, if I show you what we've got to do uh, we're actually going to be assembling the uh, power steering pump and pulley system there uh, then we're going to be doing the crankshaft pulley and we're going to be attaching these to the engine doesn't look like there's a lot to do but there are a lot of fiddly bits if I just show you what we've got I think there's 11 bits in total in there quite a lot but uh, let's just show you what we're going to be doing in the next issue we're going to be doing the engine fan and the cooling pipes uh, which is including all of these uh, HT leads by the look of it so uh, that's going to be a fun one but that's probably going to be coming next week now I'm going to make these Ghostbusters one last through the month so we'll have one of them a week uh, but without further ado let's get cracking so the first things we need are the power steering pump that looks like that and just the support arm which is going to attach it to the engine uh, we want to hold it the other way around because We've got a little lug, as you can see, coming out there. But we want this power steering pump to actually go through this section just here. But as you can see, we've got a couple of lugs just on the top there to actually keep that seated in place. So it's not going to actually roll, roll around. So when we put this through, it's going to look just like that. And as you see, it won't let me move it around. Now, because of that lug, that's going to leave two holes here for some BP screws. And I've already got them ready here, so let's get them loaded up. I was actually very shocked to receive my delivery of uh, the Ghostbusters. I thought with the uh, current panic that's going on in the world that this was going to be late. Uh, I have got the 12-month um, option though for this. So that's not the 12-month option, the paid by 12 months. So that, uh, that's why I'm getting them quicker. A lot of you might not have had these yet, uh, but that's looking just like that. Now we want to take the uh, power steering end plate looking just like that. If you look on the other side here, we've got a little tiny notch. That notch is going to follow the notch that we've got just in the power steering pump. So we'll put this in the right way so it seats absolutely perfectly. Just like that. Now we want to put that to one side because we need the power steering pump pulley outer which looks like that. Now these parts are all labelled. If you look inside this one's actually labelled 11F. Uh, which corresponds with the instructions of exactly what we need. So then you know what pulley you need as well because this pulley here says 11E and the way that they put this on the pulley is so that that 11E that you can see written on there is just facing the outside of the pulley. As you can see it leaves a little track inside there which eventually we're going to put a belt onto. So then all we're going to be doing is holding this end plate in here. We're going to push this into the other side of the power steering pump just like that. Then this needs to be held into place. This is held in place with an EP screw. So uh, let's just get the EP screws out. I'll put them over this side and we'll get that one screw in there. So we put that screw in nice and tight and that's the pulley in. The pulley isn't able to turn because of that notch on this section here, uh, but obviously it gives the effect of a pulley there. Now I'm gonna bring the engine over here and this is actually attached by these two holes here. Do you remember in the last issue that I said this should be attached to something? Well, now we know it's actually gonna be attached uh, to the pulley here of the power steering pump, just like that. Now there is one item that I still need to put on top of the power steering pump, which is the cap, but I'm actually gonna leave that till last while I'm actually screwing this in. So to attach this to the engine, we're gonna need FP screws. These are the longer screws. They've gave us spares of these, so we'll get these put in there. So it's just hanging down as I tighten that up there. I'm only gonna get it in lightly, so I can put the bottom one in. But I know it's not going to fall off now. Hold that in place while I put the bottom screw in there. It's going in just like this. 
Turn that round actually, you might be able to see a bit better. There we go. And then we're going to attach this really tightly to the engine. And this one. Nice and tight. And there we go. That's the power steering pump in place. So the next thing we're going to do is going to be putting the pressure hose looking just like this. We've actually got two lugs on the back of the power steering pump, as you can see there. We've also got a hole. We're going to be attaching the uh, hose here just onto the back with the l -sec section facing towards this way of the power steering pump. I don't know if any... There we go. You can probably see it on the top camera. It's going to go that way in. Now, this is going to be held in with an EP screw. So what I'm going to do is I'll be putting this side in really really gently to start off with and then we'll work on attaching it to the main engine there we go so i'll put it in really lightly just like that on the back let me show you on the uh, close-up camera there now if you look how that hose is actually connected there, the other side's going to be connected just between the spark plugs here, just there. So whereas I said the L shape's actually pointing up, it doesn't, it actually points off sort of like in that other, complete opposite direction that I just mentioned. But if you have a look at that closely, you'll get an idea how that looks. So it's going to be going into uh, that part just of the uh, top cylinder there, once again with an EP screw. So we'll get that in. And now I'm able to tighten everything up really tightly. Now I want to show you that closely because that's fit absolutely perfectly in there. But I'm very conscious it looks nothing like the picture. <laughs> it looks nothing like the picture at all. But I can't see any other way that would go in. Because this area here has to fit flat to fit onto that engine block there. Uh, but I hope that's helped you out. I can't see any other way that that can go in. If it can, then obviously stick it in the comments. But... Uh, I haven't got a clue, but that looks quite good the way it is there. So we'll put that to one side because we're going to be working on the crankshaft pulley now. And this is just the last four bits that we've got here. Now, once again, all of these pieces here are labelled up. So, for example, that one says 11X on the top there. And this pulley here says 11U. So what we need to do is we need to one that says 11K, which is, uh, did I say X? I meant K. <laughs> we take the 11K one, then we're going to take the 11J one, which is this one here, and holding it this way round, so that we've got all the indents facing away from this, we're going to put that in just like that. Then we're going to be putting 11L on top, and again with the writing facing towards us, so that's going to just sit on top like that. Okay, so now we want to take the engine back, and we've got a spindle here, we want to put the pulley base on, which looks like that. We've got a part which says 11H. That 11H needs to face down when we put this top hard on. And this is going to be put on with the 11L facing down towards the base plate we put on there. So that's going to sit over the top like that, just holding it in place. And then all of that, just there, is going to be held in with a GM screw. I've started it, which is good. So now I'm going to put it around this way so you can see me screwing this in and we make this nice and tight. And there we go, that's that part in as well, looking like that from the side. It can still turn, but it is tight in there, looking just like that. And that is all we have to do in stage 11. Once again, that was a lot fiddlier than I thought it would be with those little pulleys, but uh, I can't wait to start getting the belts on them. I think that's really going to make the engine pop. But uh, until next week, when we're going to be doing stage 12, I really do hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.